Good evening, everybody. How are you tonight? Hello, hello, hello. Wonderful. Hello. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So everybody have a good evening and welcome to our first class tonight. Uh, I am uh, Mr. Flamenco, if you want to call me like that, teacher, and um, however you want to call me, right? So that would be okay, right? And I'm very, very happy to be here with you tonight, right? And uh, to start um, our new class here, right? So I would like to know you and to know a little bit about you so we can start, you know, um, learning, right? So let's see. Let me just share a little bit more about myself, all right? So you can see this one. All right. Can everybody hear me correctly with no problems? Yes or no? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. We can. yes All right. Yes. 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 Very good. Right. Excellent. Thank the, you very much. You can see it. And you can also see this the, the screen, correct? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Great, yes. excellent. So that's a little bit about me, right? So I just want to share some information about me just for you to know who exactly uh, I am and a little bit about my experience in, um, you know, information about my um, studies, right? So um, as I told you a couple of minutes ago, so I am Juan Jose Flamenco, right? Uh, well, let me just continue in Spanish for a moment, right? So meanwhile, we discuss this information. Vamos a estar un ratito en español. Mientras eh, realizamos esta información, of course, right? So, mi nombre es Juan José Flamenco, right? Yo soy profesor en idioma inglés. Y eh, aparte de este profesorado, poseo una licenciatura en administración escolar. Eh, mi nivel de inglés es avanzado. Eh, poseo diplomados en enseñanza de nivel internacional. He trabajado para el Ministerio de Educación, siempre en el área de inglés. Y tengo más de 10 años de experiencia en el área de los call centers, right? Y así que también tenemos un poquito de experiencia en el manejo de atención al cliente, procesos, etc. Right? Y como facilitador del idioma inglés, estamos acá eh, trabajando con este programa desde el 2015. Right? So that's a little bit about me. So you can call me teacher, you can call me eh, mister. Or, eh, como algunas personas call me sometimes, you will see, they call me this way here, right? People sometimes call me JJ, you know? Wait, one second. It says here, people call me JJ, all right? So, you go on this one right here. All right, you can call me JJ, that will be okay, no problem. So, which is um, like a nickname and to, to say Juan Jose in a short way, right? So... It's a pleasure to meet you, all right? So, well, um, I can see there are a lot of people here, so that makes me feel happy because I like uh, classes, so big classes where people participate actively, right? So, me gusta mucho cuando las clases son muy activas y participamos, right? So, because I always have activities to do, of course, right? So, in... Um, before I continue, all right, so I would like to see here. Um, let's see, let's see. This is actually something we need to continue here with, which is going to be here. Eh, acerca de los procesos o los procedimientos que tenemos en generales, generalidades de la clase, right? So, eso siempre continuamos un poquito en español y después hacemos el switch to English, ok? So, very good. It says about tareas y evaluaciones. Eso tal vez no sea algo nuevo para ustedes, pero vamos igual a revisarlo para que podamos recordar algunos detalles, right? So, remember, it's necessary tener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones, right? Para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Eh, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en, en ellas justo después de cada clase para ir a la part of course, right? Pero por supuesto, usted puede adelantar si se le hace posible, si es más fácil para usted el tema, puede adelantarlo, no hay ningún problema. Si termina antes, it's even better, right? Eh, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche. Eso es un requerimiento eh, que se nos pide, right? Su so, material de apoyo será compartido. Eh, y se es a criterio del maestro en formato digital con ustedes tenemos un grupo en común por ahí lo saludé un poco más temprano 
y ahí les voy a estar compartiendo eh, material que podamos ver en la clase, capturas de la clase si ustedes lo desean, right? Eh, o pueden usar el grupo para hacer questions about the topic, preguntas acerca del tema, y yo con mucho gusto eh, respondo a la brevedad posible, of course, right? So, eh, preguntas hasta el momento, questions at the moment? No? No. Okay, cool. No. Let's continue. And then we go on this one right here. All right, so, ¿cómo vamos, o cómo va a estar distribuida eh, las evaluaciones o las actividades, mejor dicho, durante este programa? So, es un programa de cuatro semanas. Eh, vale la pena mencionar que normalmente estaremos de lunes a jueves. Esa semana, por eh, organización de las clases, que habíamos eh, algunos docentes que no habíamos terminado el eh, programa anterior, entonces lo terminamos hasta el día de ayer, por esa razón ustedes están esta semana nada más, de martes a viernes, right? Así que el martes, no me vayan a dejar solo, please, vamos a estar aquí en clases, of course. Right? So, las siguientes semanas, las siguientes tres semanas, vamos con horario regular de lunes a jueves. Eh, then you go on this one. En, uh, ¿Cómo se va a dividir? Semana 1, which is this one where we are right now. Tenemos una sección 1 y sección 2. Esto es el trabajo en plataforma, of course, right? So, luego tenemos la semana 2 y semana, eh, perdón, la semana 2, donde vamos a trabajar la sección número 3 y at midterm, que es el primer examen que cubre las primeras tres secciones, of course. Y eh, finally, tenemos aquí semana 3 eh, con la sección 4 la semana 4 con la sección 5 y el examen final. Como lo mencionamos anteriormente, no hay ningún problema si usted, por ejemplo, está en la semana 1 y va a hacer las actividades, ya completó la sección 1, 2 y va por la 3. There is no problem. Usted puede adelantar todo lo que pueda. Eh, it's even better. Es mucho mejor. Like, actually, si trabajan de esa manera. And, of course, no tengan ninguna pena al preguntar, por ejemplo, si me dice, mire, teacher, yo me adelanté, voy en la semana 3 ahorita, pero este tema si no lo entiendo, este ejercicio si no lo entiendo, usted me escribe un mensajito con mucho gusto, me indica de qué sección es para yo verificar el ejercicio y poder ayudarle con muchísimo gusto. ¿Ok? So, okay. preguntas acerca de la organización de las actividades. No. No. All right. Excellent. So, let's continue here. Oh. So, things that we need to check right here, asistencia al 80% de las clases, si es más de eso, mucho mejor, even better, right? So, eh, avance y desarrollo de la plataforma de aprendizaje, por favor, no se atrase y no espere a la cuarta semana para empezar a trabajar todo, right? So, vamos trabajándolo semanalmente o dependiendo de su disponibilidad de tiempo también, all right, para que no se vaya a atrasar. Eh, con su trabajo en plataforma, right? Inicio puntual de la clase. Eh, you know, I, I can see like no tendríamos ese problem porque like everybody was online, right? So from the very beginning. So I like that one. And then we have, um, let's see this one, like time schedules, camera on, si es posible for you, right? Que sería lo mejor, right? Because then see, let's see how many cameras I can see right now, okay? Let me see how many people have their camera active. Uh, <laughs> so let's see. I can see Milagro. Hello, Milagro. Nice to meet you, Lucia, um, Alicia, Senia, all right, Patricia, Ingrid, Juan David, all right, Patricia, Margarita, Ronald, Jose Alejandro, Cesar, eh, George Anthony. Eh, Roberto Josué, Hi. Norma, Sandra, Mirna, Mónica, y hasta ahí llegaron las cámaras, my friends. I don't see more. All right. So, but thank you very much for being here on time. All right. So, vamos conociendo. Okay. Very good. So, let's just continue with this one. Eh, trabajar en ejercicios de la plataforma y para que usted obtenga su diploma. It's actually the goal here. All right. And well, So, questions acerca de las indicaciones generales? Yes or no? No. No? Oh, no. All right, no. excellent. So, well, no more Spanish. No more Spanish because it's time for, like, a, the activity number one right here. All right? So, people, you are going to go on this one, activity number one, as you can see there on the screen. And so we're going to start talking about this one. And remember, right? So we are going to use some of the activities that are uh, in the book 
All right, so in we are going to be using those um, screenshots from the book, all right, and also some other material that I am going to be preparing for you in every single class. Okay, excellent. Um, by the way, all right, so I know here this is going to be, this is intermedio uno, right? Intermediate number one. Is that correct? Yes. Or are you advanced? No. no. It's pre, pre advanced. Pre advanced. Pre advanced. Oh, pre advanced. Pre advanced. Yeah. Pre -advanced. Pre -advanced. Excellent. So that means no Number Spanish. One. Yes, pre advanced. All right. So, like, no Spanish right here. All right. So, we are going to be uh, checking this one right here. All right. And uh, let's just continue with this. Okay. So let's talk about this one, multicultural cities. All right, so let's see. Um, let me see if I'm not wrong, sorry. Mm. Excuse me here with a moment here. All right, so you are the one from pre-advanced, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Well, one, yes. one quick second, my friends, because I... All right. Let's continue right now. All right, so in... Let me share here the new uh, presentation, all right? So it continues. I think it was a misunderstanding here because we have like two groups that started classes today as well, but the presentation was basically the same. All right, so we have this one, but it, well, what it was different, it's this one. This is activity number one, which is like the one for you. This is from your manual, all right? So this is the correct topic for you. So, well, let's just start right now. So as you can see, the class was also ready here. All right, this is, as I was telling you before, what we're going to be using as well to support the class, which is the book that you have available on the platform. We're going to be taking some activities from the book and some other activities that we are going to be um, uh, practicing, of course, right? So then let's talk about this one, love and marriage. Repeat, my friends, love and marriage. One more time. Mm -hmm. Love and marriage. Please repeat it. Okay. Love, love, and marriage. Marriage. love and marriage. Exactly, right? I'd like you to guys repeat because I wanted to improve your pronunciation as well. All right, so this information right. there, so this information there uh, show us, um, show us um, about, like, the opinion about like the opinion that some people from America some... have there regarding their preferences, looking for a couple, all right? So, for example, it says right here what women look for in a partner and what men look for in a partner, right? So what's the um the qualities or the things that they look for in a couple, like in a man, in a woman, etc. Right. So then you continue with this one right here. So um let's just let's see what women look for in a party according to American people, of course, right? It says right here that they look for. Who can help me to read this qualities here? I need a volunteer for helping me with that one. Who can be my volunteer? Yes, yes, yes. Hello, hello. Thank you, Jose. Go ahead. Please read them. Lucia, you what will help me with the next one. All right. What okay. woman look for in a in a partner? Correct. Uh, leadership qualities. Uh, earnings potentials, uh -huh. a sense of humor, <clears throat> intelligence, <clears throat> job skills, and success. And success. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So, hey, do you have questions about the vocabulary on that section? No. No? All right. Excellent. So, Lucia, please, you can continue with the next section. Yes, I have a question. I have Go a ahead. question. Go ahead. Uh, uh, I, I, I really don't understand earnings potential. Oh, okay. Excellent. So mean. do you understand the meaning of the word earning? Yes. All right. So it's just like, for example, like um, when you say it's like potential, like you can, like the possibilities that you can get in the future regarding the money. So for example, let's say uh, earning potential means that in the future, that person has high possibilities to have more money. Understand? To gain money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Excellent. Any other question? 
No. Okay, excellent. So let's continue with the next one. All right, so uh, go ahead, Lucia. Okay, what man looks for in a partner? Physical attractiveness, warm and affections, homemaking ability, fashion sense, social skill, sensibility. Thank you very much on this one right here. All right, so um, this one is what one men look for uh, in a woman, right? So now let's just go and check this one, vocabulary. What's, uh, do you have questions here about vocabulary? The second, warm and affections. All right, warm, it means calidez. You know the afecto, right? So calidez y afecto. So warmth and affection, very good. Any other word? Uh, no. No? All right, what's the meaning of how making ability? Mm -hmm. In Spanish is um para cosas, no? So, Excuse me. In Spanish uh -huh. is um eh, habilidades como para reparar o para arreglar no. cosas en casa. It's no, like caseres to take del care, hogar. It's like caseres to take care hogar. of the of the house of of the yes. It's, it's oh, like to okay. take care of house, right? Ex exactly. Oh, okay. it, it's okay. not for like repairing. Like for example, if no, something no, is it's... broken, I'm going to repair it. It's not about that. No. It's about no. keeping the house See, neat, yeah, yes. clean, mm -hmm. in perfect conditions. All right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. thank you. All right, and then I guess that's actually uh, the main thing right here. Now let's go to the questions that we have right here. All right, so at the end of this one, so it says here, question number uh, one. Let's see, who can help me with question number one, which is this one? Mm -hmm. Who can help me to read it? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, which of the qualities about are most important to look for in a partner? All right, excellent. So what are the qualities? <laughs> important for personally speaking for example yes. all right so from the ones that you can see here on the chart all right so what are the most important for important. you uh -huh. for me. okay for example patricia in your opinion what are the most important for you yes a sense of humor intelligence job skills success success all right excellent so that's important right Good, 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 right? Well, uh, I guess like for... important here is sense of humor, right? Yes, yes. Absolutely, it right? It's very important, yes. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> in this one right here, uh, it doesn't actually show you here. It doesn't show you uh, anything. I mean, the list that you can see there doesn't actually uh, show you any, any vocabulary regarding the... Um, physical appearance or personalities or things like that, right? It only mm -hmm. says, uh, you know, those things right here. But thank you. Anybody else who wants to share their opinion? Uh -huh. Any other volunteer? Any other woman. <laughs> uh -huh, another woman. So Patricia doesn't yes. want to be the only one, right? So, uh -huh. let me see another woman here. Lucia, <laughs> tell me. Yes. So, in your uh, opinion, which are the <clears throat> most important qualities? Uh, a sense of humor, mm -hmm. uh, job skills, uh -huh. intelligence. Intelligence. That's all. all right. Very good. Yes. Very good. Excellent. So, we have two women participating, and the two women didn't mention earning. All right. So, interesting. That's interesting. All right. So, uh huh. <laughs> Uh, what about men? What about men here? All right. So I would like to see here some men sharing their opinion. Uh -huh, Ronald, you want to participate? Ronald oh, Alexis, yes. tell me what are the qualities yes. important in your opinion? Uh, for me, it's one of an affection. Okay. Um, <clears throat> social skills and sensitivity. Sensitivity, all right, very yes. good, excellent, all right, so thank you, thank you, thank you, all right, another another boy, uh -huh. what about you, Juan? 
Uh -huh. Juan David. Juan David, share your opinion, people said. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Juan David? Yes, uh, in my case, I uh, uh, physical attractiveness, um, uh, sense of humor, um, social skill, and sensitivity. Social skill, sensitivity, all right? So basically the whole qualities, right? So all of them, all yes. right? So... And, 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 and sexy, 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 dear, I, 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 imagination, imagination, too. A, a, a sexy oh, boy, too. A sexy boy, too, right? Oh, my goodness. So, a sexy boy, a sexy girl with good imagination, he said. Okay. Thank you, Juan, yes, for more, answering. More, more, more imagination. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, imagine. Juan mentioned the qualities um, on the slide, but also Juan answered the question number two. Why? Because the question number two, it says, are there other important qualities missing on the list? So qualities that are not on the list, but are important. So for example, Juan says, sexy. Sexy boys yes. right? with imagination, <laughs> all right? So what about the rest of the people for question number two? What are some qualities that are not on the list, but you would like to add? Um, uh, the money, uh, so money. Money, okay. <laughs> Very good. Incredible, I, the men talk about uh, money. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Good appearance. Um, good appearance, respectful. all right? So you know who She has to be I, comprehensive. Oh, yes. I'm curious. I'm curious. What do you mean by experience? That depends what it's, kind of experience exactly. you're talking about. Jose Alejandro, can you tell me about what experience are you talking about? Uh, about what? Teacher? You mentioned experience or not? No, no, no. Yeah. I, I, I said I said uh, good appearance. Oh, appearance. Oh, oh my it's God, like what a shame. All right, so... <laughs> Teacher, can, can you help me with the pronunciation of physical attractiveness? Attractiveness. Is, is that correct? Attractiveness. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, Roberto, okay. you wanted to share something, right? Go ahead, my friend. Uh, yes, uh, humble. Yeah, I think it's another quality that is missing. Humble? That's a good one. People have to be humble, sure. right? So thank you. Uh, Milagro, says, Milagro says yes. Okay, Milagro, you want to say something else? Um... Faithfulness. Faithfulness. That's important, Faithfulness. right? So, yeah, that's very important. Only for mm -hmm. one person, no more, right? So thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. George, mm -hmm. you wanted to add something? Uh, of course. Uh the partner has to be uh compre uh, comprehensive comprehensive and comprehensive. Uh -huh. Comprehensive and also it has to be always to build the home, I mean, to be su to, to support the Beautiful. people uh -huh. to build on. All right, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anybody else who would like to add something additional to the list? Mm -hmm. Any other quality? I think work as a team. Oh, that's true because it's a couple. So two of you have to be cooperating all right so thank you thank you thank you all right so well and let's just move to the question number three the question number three says there how do people meet their partners in your country all right so like how do you meet people here in el salvador in the job in the job <laughs> it's very common all right so, facebook. Uh, in facebook at the university on facebook on facebook on facebook yeah. At the university? At the university. That's true. At the university. It's true. It's yes. True. All right. So, yes. That's what I meant by wife. Uh -huh. Maybe, maybe online. On, online English. Online. So, you mean with the dating <laughs> app? And the no. <laughs> I mean in, in this way, in on, uh, taking English classes. Oh, you can meet someone <laughs> here in the <laughs> class. Oh, maybe. Okay. 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 <laughs> That's interesting, right? So, very good. Actually, right? Uh huh. Actually, I think that uh, such a, social networks are the common way to 
meet a partner in, in our country. All right. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. People follow other people uh, on social yes. media and they, they start a conversation. They, they meet face to face and then they start the relationship if everything goes well. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I love this class because you participate a lot. Thank you. So let's continue with this <laughs> one right here. And now let's see what's the next activity we have here. It's a conversation, mm -hmm. all right? So we are going to practice this conversation, right? But we are going to do it with energy, intonation, pronunciation, <laughs> emotions, right? So I am going to do it for you first, okay? I'm going to demonstrate how you do it, and then you participate in couples, all right? Please pay attention. Oh, by the way, so I just want to tell you that tengo doble pantalla. I have two screens. I have the camera here, but my main screen is here. So if you see like looking at this side, I think I tengo la otra screen. Okay. So let's see. It says, Chris, right? Do you have a date for the party yet? Actually, I don't. Do you know anyone I could go with? Mm, what kind of guys do you like? Oh, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone like you. Okay, mm, what else? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll prefer someone I have something in common with who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the guy for you, Bob Branson. Do you know him? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'll ask him to meet us for coffee. You can tell me what you think. And that's the conversation we're going to practice. But I want to hear you with full energy, right? And the intonation, super good, all right? The first two volunteers. Who are the first two volunteers? Let me see. Me teacher. Okay. And another one? Lucia and... <clears throat> Lucia and Juan, right? Lucia and Juan. Okay. Juan, Chris, Lucia, okay. Kim. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Do you have the day for the party yet? Actually, I don't. Uh, do you know anyone I called you with? Mm -hmm. That's the kind of the guy, guys. Uh, do you like? Oh, I like guys. We aren't too serious, and we have a good sense of humor. You know, someone like you. <laughs> Ooh, all right. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> that else. Well, I prefer someone. I have something in common with who I can talk to easily. I think I I know just uh, the guys uh, for you, but Branson, do you know him? No, I don't think so. Okay, I will ask him uh, to meet uh, for coffee and you can tell me that you think what you think all right excellent thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you everybody and thank you you guys for participating let's just go and check the pronunciation of the words i was underlining so the first one it will be which is this one right kind. here everybody kind kind repeat it kind. 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 There you go. Kind. Excellent. So kind. don't say king kind. because king is just like, you know, king, right? So el rey. Kind. Very good. Rey. There you go. So then kind. this one right here. Okay. You pronounced it that correctly, Lucy. That was good. But you said, I don't think so. And so the like, intonation has to be different. It would be like, I don't think so. 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 I don't think think so. Like that. All right. So and then. It, this one right here. It's not us, it's us, right? Us. Meet us. Repeat it. Meet us. us. Meet us. us. Meet us. Meet us. Meet us. There we go. Meet us. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For meet us. That one. All right. Okay. Now let's just continue. Who are going to be my next two volunteers? The next two. The next George. two. Alicia George. and who is it? George. Norma. Oh, George. Please. Okay. Alicia and George, y luego quedamos con Norma and Robert, okay? Para la third person, I mean, la third round. Okay. Okay, very good. Let's start, Alicia and George. Okay, I start. 
Do you have a date for the party yet? Actually, I don't. Do you know anyone I could go with? Hmm. What kind of guy do you like? Oh, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have good sense of humor. Do you know someone like you? Okay. <laughs> um. What else? Well, I prefer someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the guy for you, Bob Branson. Do you know him? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'll ask him to meet us for coffee, and you can tell me what you think. Amazing. Is that fun for you? Right, okay. so that was actually, oh, you haven't finished, right? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 Oh, my God. Sorry for interrupting you. All right. So that was super good, guys. Alicia and George, you were doing a fantastic job. I really like it. Well pronounced. Good intonation. Perfect. All right. So good, 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 good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank All you. right. Excellent. So now I go with Norma and who was another one? Robert. Robert. All right. Okay. okay. There you go. Uh, do you have a date for the party yet? Actually, I don't. Do you know anyone I call you with? Hmm. Hey, what kind of guys do you like? Oh, I like guys who are in two series and who have a good sense of humor. Do you know someone like you? Okay. Um. Woo. What else? Well, I prefer some. I have something in common with who I call talk too easily okay i think i know just the guy for you bob branson do you know him no i don't think so okay i'll ask him to meet us uh, for coffee and you can tell me what you think all right excellent also a super good job right here right i'm really 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 happy to listen to you guys this group, it's amazing, all right? So let's see here. Now, hey, do you have questions about the vocabulary you can see um, on the conversation there? Yes? Mm, no. I was there. Oh, Which one? Or oh, no vocabulary? Uh, I just was was thinking that maybe Kim wanted to go with, with Chris, right? You know what? That's what I was thinking too, but you know, yeah. Chris didn't mm -hmm. actually uh, understand. And mm -hmm. as a man, I have to accept that sometimes that's very common in men. <laughs> right? yes. so, okay, well, let's see here. Let's continue with this uh, next conversation here. All right. Okay, so, uh, oops, let's just go on this one right here. Let's talk about the relative pronouns here. So we're going to review some grammar um that's the correct one sorry relative pronouns all right so we're going to review this topic which is the grammar for today and it says right here hey who can help me uh, reading this section this one uh-huh what do you for reading relative pronouns yes relative Maybe. pronouns go ahead if i can yep you can of course Relative pronouns take the place of nouns or pronouns. They are called relative pronouns because they always relate back to something or someone else. They are used to join two sentences about the same person or thing. All right. Very good. Excellent. So uh, that this is telling you right here, the relative pronouns are used to connect some uh, sentences, right? To, to when we have two sentences and we want to make just one single sentence, we're going to use this one right here. So for example, take a look at this one. Those are the pronouns we have. So we can have here some, uh, the meaning. For example, here, my friends, what's the meaning of, um, for example, uh, who? What's who here? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of who? Yeah. Yeah, Ken. very good, excellent. Oops. Very good. Excellent. So what about whose? The king. The king. Right. The king. Very good. What about whom? It's, it's the, the same. The, the king. 
Uh -huh. ¿Quién? ¿De quién, quién también? ¿Quién? Uh -huh. ¿A quién, actually? ¿A quién? All right, so, ¿a quién? Uh -huh. ¿Which? ¿Qué? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? All right, that is correct, ¿cuál? But it can be here, ¿el cuál o la cuál? All right, so, depending on the subject. And that, that means... Okay. Okay. okay, exactly, exactly, all right? So okay. you go on this one right here. Now, uh, let's just continue with this one here, and let's just go one by one. So, for example, who? It says replace the subject pronouns, right? Super important here. Uh, this one replace the subject pronouns, I, she, he, we, and they. It doesn't mention it. Pay attention to that one. It doesn't mention it, all right? So it only mentions I, she, he, we, and they, right? So, and this is because we are talking about, um, you know, people in general, right? So, for example, it says here, this is the man who broke the window. Now, as I was telling you before, we can actually have two different sentences in that example there, all right? And how the example will be. It will be this one. Take a look. It says right here, we can have two sentences. This is the man, period. He broke the window. <laughs> All right. So you see, I have the two sentences there. All right. So uh, I have sentence number one, which is, this is the man. And I have sentence number two, he broke the window. The same sentence there can be replaced if I just eliminate he and the period. And then I only add who. You see? That's what I'm doing, all right? So I'm joining two sentences in only one idea. So I'm saying like, this is the man who broke the window, right? So I don't need to mention the subject, or I just need to, um, you know, use a relative pronoun to link the two ideas right there, all right? So is that clear? Yes. Yes, yes it is. Okay, excellent. So let's just go on this one. And now let's go for the one that says whose. It shows possession, right? Possession, possession, possession. And that's what it says right here. So for example, it says here, she knew the family. We can finish the first sentence here. What we have here, she knew the family. Um, and then we have this one, house we bought. La casa que compramos, right? So, and then we all like this one. So she knew the family whose house we bought, right? De quien compramos la casa, of course. Uh, it's the second one clear? Yes. Sure. All yes. right. Yes. Very good. Whom? Which is this one right here that replaced the object pronouns like me, her, him, us, or them. So, for example, they have found the lady, right? So, ellos en, han encontrado a la dama. What is this one? Yeah. All right. Um, a quien? A la que quieran entrevistar. Que entrevistar. Exactly. All right. So, if you pay attention here, my friends, if you pay attention here, if you like actually do this one, in mind that we eliminate this, we eliminate whom, all right? So then I have two sentences again. They have found uh -huh. the lady. Ellos han encontrado a la dama. Ellos quieren entrevistar. So to connect those two ideas, I only have to add whom. That's it, all right? Understand? Yes. All right. Kim. All right, excellent. Thank you very much on this one. Then you go with the next one right here, which is which, all right? Which is el cual o la cual, depending on the subject, of course, right? My precious blue lamp was in the room, was broken, all right? So we have exactly the same scenario here. We have the first sentence, my precious, my precious blue lamp. And we have the second one, which is was broken or was in the room. All right, so we are going to connect them. How are we going to connect them? By which? And then I have a question for you, my friends. How would you translate this sentence into Spanish? Mm -hmm. Was broken. Mi preciosa lámpara azul. Yeah. All right, exactly. Está quebrada. Se quebró. Está Se quebró. Exactly. Very good job. Like that one. And Por último, tenemos that, all right? So the last one is that, which is normally que, all right? So the lamp that was in the room was broken, right? So eh, hay un relative pronoun que no está mencionado here. It's not mentioned in the chart. 
but it's also very important. And that is this one. Take a look. It's this. Where? Repeat it. Where? Where? Yeah. And this Where? one, how are you talking about this one? It's to talk about places. All right. To talk about places. All right. And for example, you can say this is the store where I met her. And how would you translate this one? You know, I have two sentences right here. This one, this is a tienda. La conocí. So to join them, I'm going to use vertical clause. Which you can say, a donde. A donde o donde. Donde. You know? donde. donde la conocí. Exactly. All right. So very good. Questions? No. No, no questions? Okay. Very good. Excellent. So let's just continue with this one right here. And let's have an exercise. An exercise, okay. okay. So, let's see. Oops, 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 oops. This is the exercise, my friend. It moves the presentation here. All right. So, well, relative pronouns exercise. We are going to talk about only three of them. Who, which, and where. All right. Those okay. are the only three that we can use here. Now, let's see. I need a volunteer for number one who can read the complete sentence, included, including, sorry, the answer. A man who can speak I six need six a woman I who can met. speak six languages. Okay, so I met a woman who can speak six languages. That is actually correct. Tengo aquí como volunteer now. Um, Alicia, all right, Alicia, number two. An Oops. airplane is a machine that flies. Which, mm -hmm. which, which. Can we use that? I choose no. that, but can I we, don't know if that's right. Can Can we use that? Can we use that or which? We can use that. Is correct? In yeah, this, that is correct. Oh, you know what? what? You know In what? this exercise. That is right. That is right and which, which and this, that are okay. right. In this which exercise, the correct answer is which, but you which, can also which. use that. Yeah. All right. So, of course, this is something that I forgot to mention before. A veces, eh, you know, grammatically speaking, cada relative clause tiene su uso, right? It has their own use, usage. But uh, when you are speaking, when you are speaking, um, you can replace sometimes that one. In that, for example, puede reemplazar where, o también puede reemplazar who. All right. So let's see. Uh, but in this case right here, veamos. Next volunteer is Roberto. Right. Okay, Roberto, number three. Okay. What is the name of the river which flows through our town? All right. Which? Very good. There you go. And you can Excellent. use, I think, uh, that too there. That's correct. Por eso no pusimos <laughs> that, porque si no iba a ser todo that, 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 that. <laughs> right? So, to avoid that one. Thank you. So, let's see. Uh, next volunteer is, let's see, Monica. Uh, New York is the town where I met Emma first. Where I met Emma first. Excellent. Thank you very much. So I can see now here, my next volunteer, it's Lucy. All right, Lucy? Okay, number five. five. Correct. I have a friend. Mm -hmm. uh, that. Who, uh, which is very good at her friend's card. Are you mm -hmm. sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? Who? Who? Who exactly? Because we're talking about a person. Okay. Who it's very good at. Very good job. Excellent. So then we have um this one. A number six, which he says the dog. Uh-huh. Number six. My next volunteer is George. Okay. The dog. The dog who's sitting under the chair. Is Jimmy. All right. So it's going to be who? Um, because you, you said that uh, in this case, we don't have it. I don't know why. 
Yes, you know, Patricia, wait. thank you for remembering that, all right? I was telling like, it doesn't say it. In this case, dog is represented by it. Yes or no? But, but, but sometimes yes. for us are like persons. <laughs> You know, we, we, we treat them like people, of course, right? But yes. officially, it's it's it, all right? So, of yes. course. Yes, officially, yes. All right, so, yes. So, it will be in terms of then, which? Which, 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 all right? So, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what about number seven? Volunteer for number seven? Uh-huh. What's the name of the woman who uh -huh. lives next door? Who lives next door? All right. Thank you, Milagro. All right. So mm -hmm. then, what about number eight? A musician. It's a person who plays who plays a musical instrument. Excellent. Who plays <laughs> musical what? instruments? All right. And then we go with number nine. So the hotel where yeah. where, where excellent. Where we stay. But tell me, read it completely, please. The hotel where we stayed was near the station. Thank you. All right. So, and can we also put there which? Which we stay, right? So, it fits. It fits, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, then in number 10. What is the picture oh. which was hanging on the wall? Yeah, mm -hmm. which, 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 which one. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. So, yes. So, as you could see, people, uh, in many of the sentences, you wanted to use that. Remember? You wanted to say, mm -hmm. you know, the river that flows, a woman that can speak six languages, a friend that is very good, etc. Right? That, yes. that is because that can be, can, can replace who or where and also which sometimes right so that's why the exercise was only with who which and where because if i said that that would be like all the, the same answer for all the sentences right but yeah mm -hmm. you can also use that in those examples as well it's perfectly correct okay. all right so understand yes yeah. Great, great 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 teacher are you are you going to take attendance the attendance Sure. Mm -hmm. Like that one. One quick second right here. All right. So let's see. Thank you for the reminder. So we can check this one. So we have here Cesar Arturo Fernandez. Present. George Anthony uh, Vernier Mila. Present. Thank you. Patricia Margarita Castellanos. Here, teacher. Thank you. Roberto Josue Miranda. <laughs> Present. Alicia Choto Erazo. Present. All right. Jose Alejandro Vaquerano Sánchez. Present, Present, teacher. Lucía Elena Cepeda. Present, teacher. Milagro de la Paz Jiménez. I'm here, miss. Carolina. Mr. I'm sorry. 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 Actually, 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 I am happy because I was not the only one who made a mistake on the first date. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. No worries, no worries, no worries. So let's see here. Let's see here. my friends. my friends. We have a rapper. All right. Well. All right. Well. Let me get some attendance Attendance list. Here I am, Carolina Eugenia Paz. Thank you, Carolina. Thank Paz. You, I was going to say that one. Say that one. And, 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 well. well, okay. Okay. Okay, sorry. Let me start all over again so I will check this one. Beatriz del Carmen. Is it here? No. It's not this one. No, right? Oh, my goodness, people. See, that yeah, definitely. Aquí me dieron todo el revés. So I will check attendance from the from the Zoom here. And I will check it in a moment. All right. So let's see the team. This one is supposed to be you here. 
Wait, one second. Yeah, that's the one. So, yeah, a lot of people here. Alicia Choto. Yes. Present. Thank yes. you. Carlos Jose Asensio. Not here. All right. Carolina Eugenia Paz. Eugenia. Le dijimos Paz. yes. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Yes. Eh, César Arturo Fernández. Eh, César. Here. Senia Yamilet. Here, teacher. Thank you. This is George. Lo vimos. Ingrid Maricela. Present. Thank you. Irma Adriana. Present. Thank you. Um, Ivy Saraceli. Okay, Joanna Michelle. Thank you. All right, Jose Alejandro Vaquerano. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan David Madrid. Present teacher. Carla Melissa Colocho. Kimberly Rachel Vasquez. Present. Lucía Elena Cepeda. Yeah, we check. Present. Margarita Abigail Díaz. Present. Mary Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Milagro de la Paz, yes. Mr. Ba. All right, so. Mirna Yenet yes. Landos. Present teacher. Thank you, Monica Daniela. Present teacher. Nelson Adán. Present teacher. Norma Elizabeth. Present teacher. Patricia Esmeralda. Present. Daniel Alberto. Present. Roberto Josué. Present. Ronald Alexis. Present. Sandra Elizabeth. Present. And Stephanie Abigail. All right, excellent. Thank you. So everybody, we can go back here to the main session so we can continue. All right, one last activity. All right, so by the way, I know that it's almost time to finish, but at least two or three minutes. So we can finish with the last activity due to the inconvenience we had before, okay? So I hope you don't mind. Let's see here. All right, now let's just continue with this one right here. This is also an activity from that we are going to take from the book, all right, where we have to match. We have to match this sentence right here with the descriptions that we can see here. For example, in number one I have here, I don't want to have a partner, and I already have the answer letter D, which is I have nothing in common with this person. So we eliminate this one here, all right? Who wants to help me with number two? Number two, number two? Letter C. Can you please read number two and then letter C? I like to meet people. These people have a good sense of humor. All right, excellent. Okay, she says letter C. Very good. Do you have any other um, answer? Any possible answer, people? Yes Letter or no? A. Letter A. Okay. Well, if you want, let's continue. Let's see if actually we can make a change later. All right. What about number three? Number three, number three. What about here? Letter D. Letter G. 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 Okay. Can you read? the sentence and then letter b and then letter sorry letter a letter b me um i don't know who said that was you patricia saying okay. yeah right I, I prefer a roommate uh this person is quiet and considerate considerate um, considerate, considerate correct I consider yes so definitely quiet right because like imagine noisy no way oh. all right so yeah what about number four Huh? Another one. Alicia, okay. Uh, number four. Uh -huh. I don't like to I don't like to be with people. I don't feel comfortable around these people. All right, yeah. Like that one. So that is F. F. There you go. Excellent. So let's see this one. Oops. Okay. And what about number five? Yeah. Josue. Roberto Josue. Uh, I want to discuss my problem with friends. 
letter A, these people are organized and intelligent. Okay, he said that this is going to be letter A. Well, I might disagree, but we will see later if we make some changes. All right, so uh, next one, volunteer here. Uh, it's letter E. Oh, you change your you change your mind. Yeah, yeah. Letter, letter E. e. These it's people are one hundred sensitive. Uh -huh. yeah. e. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no problem, no problem. So yeah, I'm agree now. I agree, I agree. Okay, excellent. Number six. I have product of a bus. Letter B. Letter B. Mm -hmm. Letter B, very good. Leadership qualities. And the last one? Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. All right, so people organized and intelligent. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. So we go on this one right here. Letter A, excellent. Thank you, everybody. And with that activity, we are going to officially finish the class for tonight all right so it's been a pleasure let me tell you that i'm so happy to have you as a group you guys participate a lot and i really love that right so um again i want to apologize for the misunderstanding at the beginning of the class right so i truly sorry for that but no worries that's not going to happen again i am in the correct group right now and uh, um, tomorrow we are not going to have this inconvenience anymore once again, thank you for understanding. It has been a pleasure, and I wish you to have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.